Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. So in the last video, I managed to get my lovely generator there highlighted as to show that it's running. And so what I've just done now quickly is I've taken that same script and I've attached it to that text there to say running. So if that is green, then this will say running. And then I'll show you if I then come back to my PLC now over here and get it to read the correct tag, which is that the generator is actually currently not running download so i'm not changing anything on the hmi i've just now told my plc to look at a different tag which means that now so if i monitor it this will then show yep false so currently the generator is not running come over to here and the status of the generator is off grayed out off so i've just literally just copied the exact same script from my generator into my status the only thing just in case you are interested the only thing i changed was you got this notepad here i just changed that to return off like that and then return running like that and then i just remove this that's all i did cool all right so what do we do next I th oh i've also actually at the same time i've also just added all my settings buttons onto um each page as well so that works nicely as well now and then when you click settings over here it just takes you to the general settings but i've gotten rid of that navigation now completely so that navigation that was coming down the side here that third nav i've got rid of that so what i'd like i think now is where I've got like PS1, nice PS1 and the title nice and bright there. I'd like to get it up at the top here. Just like, you know, same big size, but right up at the top. So if I shift all of these parameters just over to the right a bit and then just have a, a title bar there. All right, so I've just shifted everything over a bit to the right. And then I've just added some text there to say title. And then what I'm going to do is dynamize that text based upon what page I'm on. So I've got title there. All right, and so what I want to do is I want to say change the text. Now, how hard is it for me to do this? And I think this is going to be OK, so I could do it off of a resource list. That might be a good thing to do. So I just have a table of contents and then just make it read the list. Let's try that. So, so I believe all I've got to do is just give everything a number and a, and a text. So I think if I do like 10 for site layout and then just go down like this so 10 20 30 40 and then if i do alarms report log settings so i'm just copying my screen numbers because those are loaded every time i change screen so if i do 100 101 102 103 104 203 and so i'm just gonna have to do this every time i create a new page which isn't nice and i'm gonna forget as well so is this PS1, PS2, PS3, PS4, PS5. But this is quicker than PS1 settings. This is quicker than doing it all manually on each individual page. So that probably won't fit. I've got to probably do VT settings. That was relatively quick. So I've called it table of contents. If I now go back to the header and say I want to dynamize it based upon. What's up with a tag? Why does it need a tag? No tag is configured for dynamization of this text. Please select an existing tag. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Cause I'm looking at my active screen tag. Yeah. Nice. I look at it change straight to dashboard. Oh, if this works right off the back, I'll be well happy. All right. So restart in the runtime. So currently it says dashboard. PS1, PS2. <laughs> All right. PS5 is lowercase generator. Come over to here. Alarms. Oh, that still says generator. So that that's not loading anything there. Not loading anything on there. So I need to remember to load number everywhere but generator gen settings valve test valve test settings ps5 ps5 settings oh that was that took two minutes and that's oh that's the lowercase as well that's so clean love that all right so what i'd like now i think which it isn't necessary for this project i think but what i'd like to do is i'd like it so that when you click on this so generator or valve test whatever you click on i like it so it pops up a little pop up window to say like a little a little square there that says you know status it's running when was it last run just like some quick information that you could use to overview everything without necessarily going deep into the next page so that's that's what i'd like to do you know and again it's not very necessary on this but i need to do it on some other project anyway so i think it'd be good to learn how to do that i kind of have in my head how i'd do that um but yeah let's let's figure out i think what, what will be challenging is yeah, I could pop a faceplate up and maybe I'll pop it up right in the center. That might be easy to do every time. But it'd be nice to be able to pop it up, you know, maybe 
uh, with the bottom left corner of the faceplate being where you clicked. So you click, uh, but then again, how would that work there? You need to maybe do it at the top left corner. So you click there and it pops up there or you click there and it pops up there, something like that. So let's, let's get that going. So I've managed to find a whole bunch of templates for pop-ups from the template suite. So these look quite cool. Again, I'm not sure what information I really want to pop up. Uh, what I thinking is obviously just like a running status, but that's already evident by the green color. So I'm not sure what I'm going to put yet, but let me just get, just get these pop-ups in place just to confirm that they work. So it should be as simple as going to toolbox and then doing a screen window. I think the important point is when I'm when the screen pops up, I want it to be I want the screen to be closable. I don't necessarily want it to be I don't want it to be maximizable. Do I want it to be moved? Maybe. Do I want it to be sized? Mm, no. The show header, show border can can be moved and it can be closed. And then I also want the visibility. I'm going to add that onto the click. I want the window to match the size of the screen. I don't want to set it. So okay, so size fit. And then here, fit window to screen. Yeah. So i.e. change the size of the window to fit the size of the screen. So if I just do now, I can do this, I think. And if I download to that, it should just automatically, automatically become the same size as that screen. Refresh. Yeah, boom, there you go. Oh, it's grayed out. Not sure why it's grayed out. So there's probably like that pop-up is probably graying out the rest of the screen or something in some event. So that's fine. I can sort that out. But yeah, as you can see, I had the screen tiny and it just automatically resized it to be the same size as that. And that looks quite cool. Even though it's grayed out, I'm not, I'm not sure why that is. So yeah, uh, let's figure out why it's grayed out then. So on when this screen loads, it's got this script or this event here, which sets a property value, something to be visible, rec background. Oh, there's a rectangular background or something. But anyways, regardless, I will delete that. I don't need it. And that should fix the issue. All right, there you go. So let's see if this has the behavior that I want. So I can click on it and I can drag it. There's no maximize. I can't change the size of it, which is cool. That's what I want. And I can close it. Yeah, perfect. So now I need to just attach it to one of these screens. All right, so believe it or not, it's a day later and it's taken me a day to just do this. So what I've got now is on my home page. I press PS1, pops up a little window here to say, you know, PS1 is the best test rig. Test rig was last run. You know, just some text. I haven't really configured any of it in any way, shape or form yet. And then when you click view more, it then takes you through to PS1 and that works perfectly. And now importantly, when you go back to, to the overview, that pop-up isn't there anymore, which is good. Likewise, the same, I've done PS2. Now, what I would have liked is that you could drag and move these. But unfortunately, I did test out the drag functionality and it, it didn't it didn't work quite as well. Wait, well, hang on a minute, that's not supposed to move. <laughs> so yeah, I, I mean, at the moment they kind of sit on top of each other like that. So if I go back there and come back there, the the key thing I wanted there was that they both close. That was very important to me. I didn't want to come back to the screen and see a bunch of pop ups open. So what I want is that. So I've only done PS one and PS two right now. So I want to be able to just pop up all the pop ups now. It would be kind of cool to get the movability function working. So I might try and just work on that. Right now, this isn't great. I'm actually not sure what happens if I click, press X. Oh, it works. Okay, yeah, so the X works, that's fine. What happens if I come back? Yeah, still there, okay. So yeah, that's what I've got right now. So at the moment, PS2, when you pop it up, it will say PS2 is hardly used, to be honest, which is true, uh, PS2 isn't used. And then I just figured like maybe something to say, is it ready to run or not ready to run? Is PS2 ready to run or has it been savaged? And then I put view more to take you through to the PS2 overview page. And then likewise on PS2, PS2 issue log. And I figured maybe make a list of all the problems with PS2. So that's one, that's one test rig that uh, it's a special fluids test rig. It's literally hardly ever used. And from what I've heard, it's been pillaged and savaged to the point that it wouldn't even be runnable right now. So it might be good to just say, perhaps I just say, if there's no issues in the issue log, then PS2 is, a, is ready to run. If there is issues, then uh, it's not ready to run. And then maybe, I don't know if that's useful to anybody, but that's the kind of thing that I'm thinking of. I'm more thinking as well, maybe like PS1, you pop it up and a little graph pops up and then you can click view more and you go into it. I'm not sure what to put on these pop-ups, but I just wanted to get the functionality working. So I don't have anything for PS3 right now. As you can see, it takes you through to the page. Same for PS4. 
and same for ps5 so i'll be adding those valve test as well and then generate as well so that's what i'm going to work on next just adding all those up and then yeah in the next video i'm not sure uh, where i go from here i suppose it would be nice to maybe start actually configuring um these screens so what do i actually want to put on them i'm not sure well actually actually okay so next video because i've got the green uh button there to say that i'm running for the generator i should pull in those th th those same tags for these which you know it should be easier than a generator but i'm not still sure actually how to know uh which rig is currently running and which ticket which rig is in a test so that might prove a little bit tricky but yeah that's what i'll do in the next video oh cool. if you enjoyed this one leave a like and yeah i'll see you next one take care bye bye